Hello, I'm Daniel. And I'm Alan. And we are here to talk to you about what is single sign-on in Federation. We've done a bunch of uh, basic identity videos so far to just tell you the basics, tell you kind of how the world of identity works. So, so far we, we've talked about authentication, advanced authentication. Now we're talking about single sign-on. What's the difference between single sign-on and authentication? I thought they were the same thing. They basically are. Authentication is what we have to do to determine who you are. Mm -hmm. Single sign-on is the result you get from that. So you sign on once, and that single sign-on gives you access to all of the applications that you've got access to. Ah, I get it. So when we're talking about authentication, I could be accessing this app, and it pops up a sign-on, and this app, and it pops up a sign-on, and this app, and it pops up a sign-on, and, sign and it's authenticating me. But in that case, I'm not getting a one-time experience where I log in once and it gives and me access all across apps. all my apps. Right. That's pretty cool. Okay. So that's great. These, I own all these apps. This is my enterprise, and I can kind of create single sign-on across it, and I get that efficiency. But sometimes my enterprise also speaks to partner apps. Right. So Absolutely. So we actually use that here. Okay. Right. So you've noticed you come into Forge Rock, you sign on, mm -hmm. you've got access to all of our apps. Mm -hmm. Have you used Salesforce recently? I have. Have you noticed you don't have to log in? I have. So that is what we call federation. Okay. And essentially what we're doing is we're taking the Forge Rock identity you signed on, so we know who you are, yep. and we're having that identity system talk to Salesforce. Yep. And it's telling them who you are. Okay. So, so is that... Stand, like, is that a standard it's using to do that? Yes. Okay. So Salesforce adheres to an identity standard called SAML2. Mm -hmm. We adhere to that. So utilizing the standard protocol, we're able to tell Salesforce, this is Daniel, you don't have to worry about checking, I've already checked and I know who it is. You can give him access to that material. So basically it's kind of standards-based single sign-on. Absolutely, across organizations. Okay, that's cool. So. But when I do that, is it taking my credentials, my ID and password, and passing that to no. Salesforce? What's it, it doing? It's not telling Salesforce how I determined who you are. Mm -hmm. It's telling it who you are. So it's when we were taking, remember when we said authentication takes a real world person mm -hmm. and maps that to a particular set of attributes in the identity store? Yes. Federation takes one or more of those attributes and sends them to Salesforce that says, the user that you know as Daniel at ForgeRock.com, this is him. Okay, so some kind of trusted relationship, but it, it can protect my anonymity. It Absolutely. doesn't have to share who I am to get access to that service. And it looks like here, uh, there's a lot of standards for doing federation. There are, what, there what are, are. What are some of them here? What are so we SAML2 is a, is a fairly mature one. Mm -hmm. it, you'll find that a lot in federal government, um, actually governments worldwide mm -hmm. end up using SAML2. OpenID Connect is a much newer protocol. It's probably about three years old now. Mm -hmm. um, and it was designed to be much more lightweight than SAML2. Mm -hmm. SAML2 is very security conscious. It's XML based and it's got a lot of security aspects around it. Got it. OAuth2 is another fairly simple protocol. Actually, OpenID Connect is based on OAuth2. Mm -hmm. You will see that being used a lot with REST based systems and things like that. Shibboleth is an interesting one because Shibboleth is basically SAML2, except as they use it in the education world. Yeah. So it's, a, it's another SAML2 implementation, um, and you find a lot in different universities. So the basic gist is if I hear any of these keywords, these standards, I should know that it's associated with federation, Absolutely. which is standards-based single sign-on, which helps me not only have single sign-on in my enterprise, but also with partner services as well. Across to other enterprises. And so maybe just to wrap this one up, in terms of other, you used uh, Salesforce, which is kind of a very employee-centric scenario, but are there, what other scenarios are there for Federation? Google Apps, mm -hmm. um, Workday, um, Zendesk. Expensify. Expensify. What about like uh, governments? Governments use it all over the place. Okay. Right? In fact, the US government uses SAML for pretty much everything that they do, even between agencies. You want to get all these agencies to have standards based on the Standards based to be able to communicate between um, them. Banks could use it for check, banks utilize it. check imaging services? Absolutely. Okay. Um, that's helpful. Well, thank you, Alan. That, that gives me a good sense of what Federation is. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. Okay. Take care.